I'm not a close personal friend of the Prime Minister. Would you say he's one of your five best friends? <laughs> no. One of your 10 best friends? No. One of your 25 best friends? No. One of your 50 best friends? No. Do you have his personal phone number? I do not. I barely even know the guy. That's how you might sum up what Dominic Barton said of his relationship with the prime minister. A former global managing director at McKinsey and Company, Barton under pressure at the government operations committee to explain his relationship with the federal government and if he had any role in the increase in McKinsey contracts since the PM took power. But Barton was emphatic. Those contracts are nothing to do with him, and Canadian government work made up such a small fraction of McKinsey's overall business that Barton says he doesn't think it would have made sense for them to try any funny business. Most consulting firms were extremely busy. They didn't have enough people to be able to do the work. Um, that, that, again, you should ask others that come in here to talk about it. I, have, I haven't been working there, but that was my uh, sense of it. So, so there was a there was a very significant increase in the market, uh, in the size of the consulting market. Barton underlined he was out of McKinsey by 2018 and had fully sold off his stock the same year. Barton chaired Canada's Advisory Council on Economic Growth from 2017 onwards, what he says was the primary basis of his relationship with Justin Trudeau and Cabinet. Barton was clear. He didn't handle government contracts when he was at McKinsey, and when he worked for the council, he never suggested McKinsey to anybody. But questioning soon pivoted to the ethics of McKinsey's other work, including its role in the opioid crisis. Barton says he had no knowledge of the pharma side of operations. Are you really telling this committee that... Uh, on a file that literally dozens of senior partners were working on, um, that you as the managing partner had no idea about such a prominent and potentially controversial client that the firm had for 15 years? I've explained before, there are 3,000 client engagements that are going on at any particular given time. The Liberal MPs underlined Barton was appearing as a private citizen who had not worked for McKinsey for years and couldn't be held to account for what his former employer did. You're an individual who no longer is related to this company, who no longer has shares in the company, who no longer works for the company, who doesn't have access to the records of the company, who hasn't been prepared to go back and look at all of the different things that might come up by employees of the company, correct? That's right. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.